This is WASH 97.1, WASH Radio in Washington. This is WASH News Close Up. The fatal shooting of a 12-year-old Negro boy has triggered fire. Anyhow, there's a, that's a clip from uh, WASH Radio 97.1 in 1970. And this is a uh, this is WABC Music Radio 77, WABC New York. The big 77. This is one of their last uh, years as a rock, as a top 40 station. They uh, flipped format to talk very soon after this. But uh, I got one of their last playlists here. Look at that. Uh, Harry Harrison, Dan Ingram, Rob, Ron Lundy, Johnny Donovan. Look, George Michael. George Michael, the late, great George Michael, who did the sports here in Washington for many years, was on the air from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Chuck Leonard, Steve O'Brien, and Bob Cruz. This was back in 1977. W-A-B-C. And the number one song of that particular week, or this was that particular year, I Just Want to Be Your Everything by Andy Gibb. Ugh. Number two, You Light Up My Life, Debbie Boone. Ugh. Oh, well. Wow. Washington Post today. <laughs> Wow, we got a whole lot. Lisa D. Mayonnaise today, a whole lot of paragraphs on Charlie Sheen. Holy cow. Here's what gets me about this paper, though. You know, there's a certain, you have to be in a certain kind of an in crowd to get a write up in the post, especially in this very clickish, reliable source column. I mean, I mean, this uh, Michelle, what is it? Mich Mich Michelahe Salahi. <laughs> The Salahi Chick. See her there? Whoop. There we go. She, you know, there she is. She's gotten so many write-ups in this paper. I mean, it's like, you know, can't be two or three days without more Salahi news. Oh, she's going to go into some rehab show on VH1. Even though apparently she's not addicted to anything other than love and chocolate. You know, I'm not saying it, but... <laughs> Mrs. Fred deserves at least a write-up in this paper. She's outrageous enough. Do we have to get the re no, It's a lazy. The style section is lazy, fat, and stupid. They're myth. They have so much cool news out there. They just, because they're not friends with uh, Roxanne and Amy, they don't sit there and Twitter with them. They don't get written up. You know, there's a certain class of people that just get written over and over and over and over and over and over in this reliable source column. And then there's others that just never make it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> well, we got the radio ratings for the... The radio ratings for the second week of Febar, February. And I'm uh, going to take a quick look at now. If you want to see the... Uh, Regular uh, 12 plus numbers, top stations for the full week. Go to DCR TV, got them all there. I'm going to give you some stuff from the 25 to 54. Those are the key money demos. And of course, for the uh, second week of February, WTOP's morning and afternoon drives are both first as usual. Uh, Wash's Lori and Lou come in fourth for the morning drive. We've got um, Steve Harvey at WHUR in second place in mornings. And uh, Michael Baisden in fifth place in afternoons on HUR. Kane comes in eighth place over there on WYHT Hot 99.5. This is for mornings. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop, old Jack Diamond, a.k.a. Harvey Fisher, is seventh place over there on WASH. Elliot, Elliot. Yeah, Elliot is doing really, really well. Elliot's doing, uh, gosh, second place in the 25 to 54 male and female demo. That's damn good. And WWDC is seventh place overall among stations. Why? Because I like them. I think they're a damn good sounding rock station these days. Uh, MCQ is doing good. 
Uh, eighth place in the 25 to 54 numbers with a fifth place morning show. Hmm. Okay, we got uh, Whammo at ninth place overall. Wes Parr over there on Kiss is 11th. Uh, Fresh is doing okay. They're 11th place overall, ninth place morning show. Uh, Big Tigger over on PJ Say, 16th place. Um, Tom Joyner over on uh, 1023 in 6th place. Okay, we're going down the numbers. Uh, at JFK, uh, JFK actually beats TEM, ESPN 980, their rival, in the 25 to 54 demo for 15th place. I'm sure they do better in the male only demo, their target demo, but I don't have those numbers here right now. And I'm not going to get them. The Junks are 9th. Versus the mornings on TM with Mike and Mike at 15th. Hmm. Mike Wise over at JFK is 15th place. And Arrington and Dukes. Oh, I mentioned his name. I'm sorry. Arrington and the other guy, 9th place. So they're not, you know, those stations are doing okay. They're, they're raking in some money. They're not doing great, but they're raking in some money. They get some ad mail demos, you know. You hear a lot of car dealers advertising on JFK. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice if they stopped their advertising after they moved over to Lanham, but, you know, what the heck. I don't know. Anyhow, we're looking down the numbers here. Here's the interesting thing. Both in the 2554 demo and in the 12 plus demo, poor old 105.9 The Edge is getting beaten by Fredericksburg's country WFLS. That ain't right! Somebody's got to fix 105.9, man. It needs fixing! You shouldn't be, uh, that station shouldn't be 21st place in the overall 25 to 54 demos. And it shouldn't be coming in below FLS and Fredericksburg. That's pretty bad. Uh, Kirk and Mike, 22nd place. Ooh. I like, I, I don't know. I, I, as I've said before, I think Kirk and Mike have a great show. And I really think they need to cut playing the music in the morning because that chases a lot of listeners away. They just don't want to hear smoke on the water at 8.05 in the morning. I don't know. Now, here's the reason why Fred Granny is no longer there. WMAL, 23rd place in the 25 to 54 numbers. 23rd place. And his show was 20th place. That's stinko. I don't care what you want to say about Islamic conspiracies or Mrs. Fred's nuttiness. The reason he's no longer there... Stinko ratings. And even WMAL throughout the day. Rush Limbaugh, 22nd place. You know, this station skews old. It's old men listening, and that's not what advertisers want. They need some rat to make some radical changes. Sean Hannity pumping, what's he pumping there? Like a 23rd place. Man, that station needs some fixing. It needs some fiction. It needs everybody at the station needs to be spanked. Oh, well. Okay, we're at the eight-minute mark here, and I just wanted to... Where did I put this here? I had some really cool um, some really cool uh, things I wanted you to hear. Listen to this. Please support DCRTV.com. Thank you. That's the great dude Walker. Please support DCRTV.com. And again, please support DCRTV.com. And finally, please support DCRTV.com. Thank you, dude. He did those a couple years ago for me, and I always I listen to them all every night before I go to bed. It makes me feel so good. Anyhow, that's DCRTV Dave, Dave TV for today, which is uh, <laughs> which is the uh, Tuesday, the, um, what's the date? Come on, give me the date. Give me the date, the 8th. The 8th of March. Thank you and God bless.